This is a story about the importance of flushing. What goes down and the information it was absolutely fascinating to me. That then comes up. I did not make the connection between the pandemic and the work we do at a, a wastewater facility, but I'm glad we found the connection. This is Peter Van Rye. He's a waste management director in Colorado. We'll come back to him in just a second. First, you might be asking, what connection is he talking about? As it turns out, every flush of waste isn't just a deposit in the sewage system, but one in the lab. To us, it's just crazy not to leverage the opportunity. Mariana Matus's lab called Biobot, located in Boston to be exact. Every time we use a toilet, we're sending away valuable information about our health. So this is an auto sampler. Biobot has been testing wastewater for COVID-19 since March and gets sewage samples from more than 400 locations like Peter's in 42 states. The idea is to get a broader sample since not everyone gets tested for the virus at testing sites. Biobot says its facilities sample around 10% of the U.S. population. In-person testing has sampled just under 4%. It's interesting to be able to test it at, at, from a different angle. I didn't think we were going to have an integral part in trying to establish where the corona, where the, the virus might be within our community. Biobot has learned a lot from its testing. Just this week, their data indicates COVID-19 has infected 10 times as many people as CDC numbers show. Granted, that number isn't perfect, but it gives insight into not only the virus, but the policies used to contain it. We believe that the main use of the data in the immediate future will be to understand the impact of these policy decisions, which is going to be balancing the mitigation, the social distancing to keep the outbreak low, but also enabling the economy to operate to some level. Biobot says things like sample dilution need to be considered as it refines its process. But they're hoping with each week, projections and real-time monitoring become even more precise. As each flush becomes more valuable. We want to make this a tool where our leaders, uh, you know, really the people making those policy decisions have the best data available and can quickly react to our new reality. I'm Dan Grossman reporting.